coming up are my best tips and tricks on using the subtotal function in Excel. The key use for subtotal, rather than say a sum or a count or something, is that it does ignore the hidden stuff. There's just some really important point that you need to watch out for, and I'll demonstrate it here. So let's just say I want to get the subtotal of this order value column here, right? So I'll, as I start typing, I get my list, and using the arrow keys, I can select it and hit tab. And I'll get, you know, this nice list of sort of tips here. It says, oh, look at these function numbers that you can have, average, count, min, max, and sum being number nine. And if I scroll down, I appear to get like the same list again. Somewhat confusing, what's the difference? Well, it's a very important difference actually. And that is that the numbers below 100 will take account of any kind of filtered out data, right? So if I put nine, for example, it would sum up anything that wasn't filtered out. Whereas 109 would also filter out anything I hide. So let's just demo this, right? So subtotal nine, and I'll just I'll add up this column here, right? And hit enter. So you can see, as expected, I get the same total as the sum, right? Say I now say, well, actually, I'm just going to hide this product here, right? Now, that number doesn't change. Whereas if I change that to a 109, you can see it's now different to the sum. So that's absolutely key. Now, when you start filtering things, so say we just pick furniture, for example, um, we're going to get the correct value there. And also, if we hide something manually, we're going to get the reduced number two. So very, very useful to use the numbers above 100 unless you've got a definite reason why you would want to add up manually hidden stuff differently. And of course, the great thing about this is that you can now, if you use it in conjunction with the sum, which will show everything regardless of whether it's hidden or not, and then the subtotal, you can get a direct comparison there and you can you know, obviously divide one by the other, for example, and extract some kind of you know, percentage there. The other thing is that when your data is in that filtered mode and you hit the shortcut key Alt equals, it automatically assumes you want a subtotal which is very, very useful indeed. And you've just got to watch out though, because the data is filtered, that say I highlight that whole column there, you can see it finishes at row 4998 because that's the last of the filtered rows available. But actually this table of data finished at row 507. So you just got to be a little bit careful if you're doing that. All of these functions are on my 33 fantastic functions for Excel. The only functions I believe you need to build 99% of all spreadsheets in Excel. Links in the description if you want to download this. There's some typical use cases, a load of tips and stuff around. And as if that wasn't enough, there's also a library of every single Excel function on the planet with a little description of what it does. Hope that saves you a load of time and effort and I will see you in the next video shortly.